Hello, I'm Dean Karstens, and this is Dean's N Scale Trains. Today I'm not going to be talking about model railroading, but I'm going to talk about the latest addition to my 3D printing machines, the Ender 3 V3 SE. It's quite a little machine, runs for about $200 these days. But also I want to talk about installing this uh, filament detector. Uh, this is a Creality, came from Creality. Came in a very nice box with a lot of padding. Cost about $12. In the box is a new support play, so filament support, some wiring, and a package of small parts. And the small parts are some wrenches, a couple of screws with these um, metal thingies, a new support plate, and the actual detector, the filament detector, and its support piece. So let's get into how you put this thing together. The filament detector kit also came with a set of Allen wrenches for what you, all that you need to put this thing on. Uh, I augmented this with some ball end Allen wrenches, which are easier to use, and the usual Creality instruction manual. First thing I want to do is to install the, de the uh, filament detector onto the metal plate, so I don't lose these screws. To do that, put this sleeve and screw it onto the back of this detector. You see this is, uh, can move fairly freely in all directions. Hopefully this next one will go easier and faster. Okay. Now we take off the tube holder from the old unit and just put it back on. Just twist it on and there we are. That's done. Next it's necessary to remove this upper arm, taking out the six screws. Give it a slight tap, and it comes up. Now when I did this, the uh, roller bearing stayed in this piece. At this point, don't turn either of these drive screws or you mess up the reg registration between them. Okay. Now we need to remove the bottom plate. And you can maneuver this cable out of there. And pull off the fan connector. Next, I'll install the cable. As you can see, the cable comes in two parts, a short piece with a four-wire connector 
and a longer piece with a three wire. This goes, this goes into the detector. This goes into the uh, motherboard. Okay, so we take the long length with the three wire connector and feed it through this extrusion. You see better, what better? You can see this a little better where you feed it. A pair of tweezers comes in handy to fish this out. Once this is out, connect it to the other board or the other cable. Bring it around to the motherboard and it goes right here below this power block. Okay. I'll turn this back up. And now let's install the top. Before, before I do that, I want to exchange out these support pieces. Now I can put this upper support back. Before I do that, make sure that there are two washers here, one washer on each side here, and that the uh, roller bearings are installed. And the fan goes down here, okay. The cable we just added is long enough to go just about anywhere. And then we just put this back. Okay, now we plug it in and see if it's going to work. Turn on the power. Feed this through the detector. All the way down in the extruder. print. Let's just pick something. Confirm. Let it heat up. Okay, it's at temperature now. It's starting up. And I'm going to cut the filament up here. as if the roll is empty. The wires, filament is running out.
It's a little hard to say, but see, but it says filaments are running out. Please reload. So I fed the, the new fil the filament back in. Confirm. And it's still at temperature, so it continues to print. I'm going to stop this because I don't want this print to continue. Let's see how it looks. As you can see, there's a little bit of lime there where the filament wasn't totally down. Here's the final clip of the Ender 3 in action. This will give you an idea of the noise level. As you can tell, it's mostly from the fan.